Two Iraq war veterans are taking their first steps on revolutionary prosthetic legs at the Salt Lake VA. News specialist Jed Bull shares this follow-up on the latest phase in this ongoing test of the artificial legs. Bryant Jacobs of Harriman is learning to walk for the third time. The first as an infant, the second with his socket prosthetic, and now with his new percutaneous osseointegrated prosthesis. It's all about baby steps right now. A roadside bomb explosion damaged his leg in Iraq 11 years ago. It was amputated two years ago. In December, doctors embedded a titanium rod in his leg. That's it. And then this part's inside my femur. And the new leg snaps onto that rod. Most prosthetics fit over the residual stump with a sleeve that can slip and cause sweating and blistering. We're not setting expectations. We're not doing any of that. We're just progressing. As they walk again, they put weight on the bone. They're really gung-ho. But they must take it gradually, and this process is part of a 10-year trial. Bone responds slowly, so we want to add some weight to it, let it heal, add some more weight, let it heal. I wanted everything better, faster, smoother, and that's what I think I have now. Ed Salo tells me the new prosthetic is so much easier to take off when it's time to shower or go to bed. And I'm going to remove the Teflon pin. It's going to take about three and a half seconds. In the morning, he snaps it back on. It's a big game changer. That what I, when just putting it on used to take three minutes. Done. He also has a greater sense of feel with this prosthesis. Sitting here, I can feel the, the slightest little indentations in the tile beneath my feet. If the trial proves successful, both veterans hope this leg will improve the lives of other veteran and civilian amputees. I'm doing this for a very selfish reason, for myself, right? But at the same time, I'm doing it to pave the way for others. Jacobs and Sallow are the first two. Two other veterans have already gone through the first surgical part of this procedure. During this calendar year, doctors here hope to attach 10 more prosthetics if all goes well. Hopefully in another two weeks, it'll be nine day difference from what it is today. Jed Bowles, KSL 5 News. Thanks.